so here we want to find the volume. So we're going to think of an integral. And we're going to put our pi r squared. Now, where you put the pi, you can put the pi inside. Or you can put the pi outside of that integral, because it's just a constant. And we know from our properties of integrals that if you have a constant, that can either be inside or outside of the integral. What did we have in the previous slide? Did they put it outside? Yes. So there it's outside. You could also have it inside. It really doesn't matter. Sometimes it's nice to have on the outside, because then whatever result you get, you could just multiply by pi in the end, which m can sometimes make things easy. dx, we are finding the definite integral from 1 to 2. Something that really helps you for visualization is if you could draw a graph of this. So off to the side here. Here's the graph of y equals x cubed. You're looking at going from 1, which has the point 1 comma 1, up to 2, which has the point 2 comma 8. This would be the radius there. This would be the radius there. Now you have to rotate it 360 degrees. And this would curve out like that. Wow. Did I do a good job? I don't know. Sometimes what I find helpful when drawing these is I will color in one end, one circle with one color, and then I'll use another color to sort of shade in the sides. Yeah, I didn't do a very good job. And it, it kind of looks like a volcano turned on its side. Can you imagine that? A turned on its side volcano? Or, yeah, so it's got a flat circle. Like, if I turned it on its side, I'd have, whoa, flat circle like that, curved up like this, another flat circle like that. Volcano. I think so. Or maybe like one of those loud speaker horns, something like that. OK. So at this point, while we know what our function is, so now we can write this from 1 to 2. I'm going to put the pi out here f of x was x cubed, so this would just become x to the 6. As far as our derivatives go, this is one of our easiest, I mean, not derivatives, integrals. This is one of our easiest integrals, right? We're going to have, so we can put our brackets here. It's going to go from 1 to 2 and add 1 to the exponent and divide by that number, and there'd still be pi out in front. Definite integral, you plug in the first number. 2 to the 7 is 128 minus plug in 1. And multiply that by pi. Did it have units in this question at all? Doesn't tell us anything about the units, but since this is a volume, whatever the units would be would be units cubed. And that's pretty powerful. If you think about it, we just found the like, volume of a volcano. <laughs> if we knew the equation of the volcano. But it's the basic shape. So we can take crazy shapes, any functions that we can, as long as we can integrate them. Now we can not only find areas under crazy shapes, we can also find volumes of crazy shapes. Yes? Yes? 